hello hello and welcome back in for some more dark side detective i hope that you are doing well and that october is going okay um so tonight we finished uh, our sixth case that's the last of the normal cases here these are all called bonus ones so we'll start um the seventh one tonight ghosts of christmas past uh celebrating the season with julie and his family of Christmas past. Dinner's ready, boys. Finally, a turkey looked at me funny back in July, and I've been carrying a grudge around ever since. Turkey eye for an eye. That's what the good book says. The good book? Turkin. It's a revenge story about a turkey with a particular set of skills. It's very good. Now who would call in the middle of dinner? Down tools, everyone. None of us turkey until all of us turkey. You can't be serious. If I so much as see a scratch on that turkey, I'll frisbee it out to the raccoons in the pool and we'll watch them dine instead of a movie. She's serious. Hello? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's for you, Francis. Hello? Sorry for calling at such a bad time, detective, but the chief has an urgent case for you. Okay, Dooley, grab your pants. Most wonderful day of the year, my ass. What's all this about, detective? There's a protest happening outside a citizen's house. A protest? Then why isn't McKean being sent? He loves to crack skulls. The chief doesn't seem to think cracking skulls is going to work here. Well, Turkey stays warm for two hours, and it's 15-minute drive home, so I'm giving this case 90 minutes and no longer. What on earth? What do we want? To pass over. When do we want it? Before Passover. <laughs> right. What's going on here? We want to move on. We're sick of being ghosts. It's been ages since we died. Limbo's all tied up in red tape, and it's because of the man who lives here. We want him to undo whatever he did so we can move on to whatever comes next. Hmm. Gary? Gale? Oh, looks like the jig's up. So, want to explain what's going on? Not really. Why are there ghosts outside your house? I er, might have accidentally, mind you, broken the afterlife. What? Why? I wanted my gal back. She's the light of my world, detective. And the wean, he's got all weird and bookly since her accident at the dangerous explosions factory. In hindsight, I think that we're a bad place to get work. Did you, how did you break it? Well, earlier in the year, I were working at Switchboard. Heard tell down pub one night that it were used to talk to other side. Well, long story short, I used the same energy to cross over and steal a number from their ticket machine. Ghosts kept arriving, but the system were stuck waiting for whoever, me, had the current number to come to desk, and I didn't. Uh, all the while, the backlog of ghosts were building up. Once it was large enough, it burst through to our side, and I had my gail back. And a lot of other ghosts who didn't want to return. Aye, that too. How did you even get in there? I got some help from a right stand-up bloke, a mystical chap by the name of... It's going to be Mr. Wang, isn't it? You know him, then. He were able to show me how to create a back door to the afterlife. Maybe he can help me do something similar. If I can fix the machine, I might be able to get the ghost moving again. All right. Please, detective, if you're going to fix this, let me keep Miguel. I'll do what I can, Gary, but I can't promise anything. Do they just let you take that home with you? Er, yes? Oh, we have to turn ours inside out and pass it uh, on to someone the next shift. My forehead is kissing a lot of other cops' sweat. Thanks for sharing that? 
Hey, we're in this together. We are? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I got that. I got that for the Wii in. Never opened it. Not a loose screw, rusted blade, or oil-soaked rag in sight. I just don't know what to do with the lad. Hmm. I guess it's not a builder's house without a bits box. We're required to have them by law. Mind if I take a souvenir? Help yourself. Cool. How come I can see you now without magic goggles? That were part of the ritual Gary did to bring us back. Made us right visible too. Cool. Alright. My <laughs> popo motive. Um. Let's go here. Yawn. Hey there, fellow humans. I hope you're enjoying this miserably cold time of year instead of hibernating through it like one of those silly, cozy bears. I sure am enjoying being wet half the day and spending the other half staring at a sad lamp to feel anything. We, as a species, sure have things figured out. Well, robo-turkeys. These robotic turkeys are a wonderful meat-free alternative for Christmas dinner. And as an added bonus, they come with their kill mode off by default, I think. Um, alright. What are these? I heard smart glasses were in the new big thing. I wish I'd done some research before bulk buying all of this. Want one? It's on the house. I can't ship them. Sure? Yay. What do you want? Aren't you banned from here for destroying those poor girls' business? What's this now? Nothing. Wang, you made me do that. Likely story. A police officer listening to a lowly shopkeep such as myself. His story checks out, detective. Hmm. Wang, Gary tells me that you helped him get into limbo. How? I need to follow him and fix what he did. There's a rift, but I can't enter. I'm alive. I want to not be alive, but only for a little while. Oh, I will help you with this, actually. What, really? Yeah, a family of Irish ghosts moved into the apartment next to mine, and their wailing is keeping me up all night. Take that spirit still there. You can use it to distill your spirit from your body. Then you'll be able to use Gary's Rift. And I can come back? Probably. What am I, your horoscope? Sigh, look. You're made of three basic parts. The body, the soul, and the glue that binds them. As long as you have glue left and it's sticky, you're good. On that note, bring something to hold glue in. Nice, I guess. This, uh, this the still? Yeah. Now look, detective, I know we're one another's arch nemesis. That's not true. And then I am the one a slippery eel you just can't catch. Also not correct. And now I have you over a barrel. But I've enjoyed constantly winning this game of cat and mouse. In which I am both the cat and the mouse. Some kind of freakish mouse-cat hybrid. And you are an onlooker too confused to catch or be caught by me. Where is this going? But I am feeling sentimental. This isn't how I want our story to end. We have no story. So one word of warning. Whoever mines your glue, make it somebody reliable. I call dibs. We had a good run. <laughs> yeah. Well... Scratching my eye. Ooh, there's a rift. Um, this is the one of the tidier city-funded demolition sites I've seen. Same. Um, 
I'll just loosely put this here and somehow that will be enough to connect them thoroughly, fixing the device. If this detective thing doesn't take hold, you could get work as a handyman. Cool. If I connect this here, I should be able to get this still up and running. Here goes nothing. Oh. I think it worked. Cool. Okay, I'm going through. Look after my body and essence, Dooley. Detective, it's me you're talking to. Of course, I'm going to do whatever it is you just said to me. Oh, God. Yeah. Right, Limbo. Hopefully, this won't take long. No. Now what? No talking. I can't talk and play the flute to keep her calm. It, urine pots? They drug test in limbo? Th thanks? I guess? Here we see early grim reapers who used rakes instead of scythes. Uh, harvesting souls was less pleasant for everyone back then. Well, this is as bleak as it is barren. Oh, lovely. Leave area. Chirping sound. There's a chirping sound from over there. Crickets, maybe? Catch them. Sorry, you lot. I hope you your crickety affairs are in order. Thank you. At least help with your, uh... Here you go, little lady. Ah. Cheers for that. I've been playing that for an age. My cheeks are fit to fall off. Would you massage them? Fine. Here, hold this while I do it myself. Dude, don't hand me stuff. I will walk off with it. Thank you. What's over there? Oh my god. What the hell? Charm it. Let's hope this works. Oh. Ew. I wouldn't touch that thing. There's a lot of portals here, but they all seem closed, bar one. Okay. Where's it go? Am I in caveman times? Shush. It's bound to happen any second now. Take your seat. Seats are metaphorical. We didn't have time to carve any. That was a totem uh, to bright ball skin burn. A symbol of my faith, if you will. Of course, the blasted thing fell from its perch above the mound and caved my flimsy skull in. It really bums me out to see it. Maybe you'd take it away? I would, only I think that creepy chap in black would sneak into the cave, you see. Thanks. Oh, standing stone? Hello. Oh, no. Well, this... This is a fine hick mess I found myself in, isn't it? Super brilliant, brilliant job. Really stellar work. Now you'll miss the end of the hick party. I knew I should have hopped up my hip flask before warping back here. If he won't hick... Let me back in. I guess I live here now. I'll need to forge for, well, nothing, I guess. One of the perks of being dead. Uh, hello? Oh, another ghost. You seem like an awfully well-dressed chap for a Neanderthal. Well, you're on your own. Make your own way to Limbo. I'm done reaping. After this, they'll have my scythe. Robe, too. Not the hourglass, mind you. That's not part of the outfit. Bought that myself. A memento. Miento. Pimento. I meant memento. Of reaping my one thousandth soul. Are you drunk? I remember it well. His name was Susan and she was a Victorian woman from uh, 1027 Jerusalem. Do you know what? I'm not sure I remember it at all. Anyway, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Charles Zizz Dickens Zizz. And this is where we'd die if we weren't already dead. Charles Dickens, the author. 
author slash harvester of souls. Until hick today, that is. What happened today? Well, between you and me, I was probably a the little bit drunk when I spun up the portal engine. It's Christmas, you see, and we're having a Christmas party. Anyway, the bloody thing opened inside this mound we're sitting on, and the soul I'm here to harvest won't come with me, or let me go back in until he sees the sun. And you made this portal from the party itself? Oh yes, from the office where the party was well underway. I got a last minute death notification. I should have done it by the boo book. But the archivist was giving me the look, you see. I think she wanted to jump my literal bone, so I took a risk. So if we satisfy, satisfy the caveman ghost, uh, we can go through and get back into the office. Ha, uh, you almost make it sound like some kind of puzzle that's solvable in a few easy steps, rather than hick the perilous, doomed situation that it is. But what do I have to lose? Whatever it is that you're doing, I'm in. Uh, right. These must be some of the tools they use to make the cave below. Primitive tool. Right. Well, I've opened the rest of these portals for you. There's more, of course, billions of them, one for every moment through time. Why was one open in the first place? Well, this is the normal way we travel. We have portals for every moment in every year of time. Sorry, every era, Hick. I took a back way because I did. I don't have to answer you. I'm the reaper. You're the soul. Back off. But this room must have sensed I was inside a time, so it opened the portal. It's the smart sides. They log souls, open portals, record our calorie intake, and send us IM notifications from work. It's a nightmare, really. Getting messages at all hours from the European and Chinese Reapers. <laughs> uh, let's... Let's go with the purple one. Oh, this is the switchboard. Back before it was lined up for demolishing. Um, actually, can I look at this? A hippie van. I should check it for narcotics. Sadly, there's nothing. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I did find this neat torch. Now, it was mostly the best of times. It's broken, however. And we're back to being mostly worst times. I hope this works. I found this ritual, but ritual in a book in the library. Hey, I hope we are successful in summoning it. I want to ask for guidance with what I should do in life. In a great irony, now we'll steal Merle's acorns. I don't know any of these people. Don't drag me into this. Looks like they're trying to perform a ritual. So how exactly are we going to summon the festive spirit? Pish wish 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 wa. It's an abstract personification of a collective human ideal, Derek, not a cat. Well, when my cat goes missing, I get its favorite things together and put them outside. The smell usually helps her find her way home. Again, not a cat. I think he's on to something though. If we can bring together the elements of the season, maybe we can lure it here. Can we say some magic words? Derek, we're summoning a thing. Of course we're going to say magic words. God. So, what are the elements of the season? I guess stuff you'd associate with the holidays? I bet there's five elements, because, you know, pentagrams. I mean, we don't have anything better to go on, but this seems like a very random guess. Intuition. Ah, fair, fair, a fair point. Okay... Excuse me? Has anyone else seen the packet of acorns I brought for the offering? Nope. Not me. I brought some chocolate raisins, if that's any help. Derek, would you listen to yourself for God's sake? 
I fear I have been robbed. Perhaps this is a sign I sought? Yes, this is it. I feel it in my adorable bushy tail. From now on, I shall no slave away and uh, all summer gathering nuts for the winter. I shall become a master thief and take whatever nuts I want. Thank you, mystery person who stole my nuts. You have given me purpose. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, let's go through this one. We'll just go up. When is this? When America was first discovered. Vikings landed there during the Great Migration period around 1000 AD by mistake. This isn't them. This is like the second, third time Vikings landed. A less significant event. Um, okay. It's a good night for mapping the stars. We honor our ancestors by recording their place in the cosmic spiderweb. We should honor them by living in the present, not by recording the past. Child, don't make me build some steps out so I have somewhere to send you on time out. What's a boat, especially what looks like a Viking boat, doing on the hill? This makes me want to play Valheim. Uh, ghost. Hello, fellow dead. Hey, so uh, what happened here? Ah, it is a funny story, actually. We were out vikinging about, you know, looking for monasteries to raid and lost sheep to plunder. When this rude storm came out of no place, it sucked the ship right out of the water and spun us for the longest time. Of course, for me, it did not feel so long. This oar stabbed me in the livables. When ghost me woke up, we were here, wherever here is. He still has the oar through his ghost. Not that it matters to me. I presume you and that hungover-looking man are here to take me to Valhalla? Well, yes. But in a more real and important way, no. Don't listen to him. A designated Valhalla knight will be with you soon. We're here to catalog your ore, since it killed such a mighty warrior. Oh, here you go then. I'll just wait here for the Valkyrie to come, so... Yes, a Valkyrie. That's... That's the word I meant. Received Viking ore. All right. Um. Cool. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Is this the Jurassic era? Whose souls are you reaping here? Dinosaurs are people too. That's not true. Oh, that would explain why I didn't have to come here much. Okie dokie. Uh, where are this dragon's wings? This is no dragon. It's a Brachiosaurus. Fine, Jonathan, science B. Where are this Brachiosaurus's wings? The ground here is damp, warm, and soft. It's crawling with insects. That's kind of gross hello oh this guy looks like somebody i know hi proto nigel they're using these stones as rudimentary toys i'm taking one dooley will think this is adorable at least he will before he comes to his sense and tells me dinosaurs never existed oh, i stole their 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 Toys. Sorry, little guys. Nigel? The soil here seems very fertile. Must be because of the dinosaur's remains. Um, I can use this ore to dig a hole here. This should lower the carbon footprint of all this time travel stuff. Now if I go through here... Hey! I can see somebody is already chopping down the trees. Nice. 
Hey, they're using wood from the forest I planted to repair their boat. I have no idea how they'll get it back to the water, though. Cool. I can take this now that it's unguarded. You can, but do you really want to? Ew. It got bashed in the storm. A shame, really. The chief loves a good drum circle. I wonder if there's anything we can do to fix the broken one. Now that the guard is off chopping wood, I can take it and see. Cool. Yay! I am making progress. Uh, can we use these? I'm just going to lean this over here and hope they spot it. Did you bring a broken drum with you? No, you told me to leave my drum at home and focus on the sky. Besides, bringing a broken drum sounds like a pointless thing to have done. Yet, there is a broken drum beside you, eh? No, that's not mine. It's got weird markings all over it. I only have cool eagles and wolves etched into mine. Kids today. If it's not yours, then perhaps it is a gift from the bearded men who think boats go on land. It's broken, though? Not a great gift. They don't know how boats work. Don't expect too much from them. Wise. Come, let us fix it for them. What do you think of these truly sick beats? Well, the drum certainly is mended. That sounds like my drum? It is my drum! And you're rocking out with it! Come, my new friends, let's jam! What's she saying, Father? I think she wants to communicate through the international language of rock. Music really is great, isn't it? Letting people express themselves and communicate regardless of language. If you love it so much, why don't you take it home and smooch it? You know, I just might. Yay, I got music. Cool. I hope Dooley is taking good care of me back there. So this is the detective's essence. I better be extra careful not to draw... Oh no. Ha, only joking. I never drop this. Dooley, what are you doing? This is our little secret, okay, corpse? Wow, Dooley. When is this? Why are you lo looking at me? Fine, Reaper powers activate. The year is 1673 AD. I think it's 16... I heard your sight tell you. You're a perceptive one. I'll give you that. I bet you were a therapist, sorry, a therapist when you were alive. Hey, kitty kitty. Don't hey, kitty kitty me. I'm an Archduke of Hell. What? Oh, look, you've seen weirder things. Shame about that witch. What witch? What's happening here? She's been taken to be buried alive up on that hill. It's sad to see something so bad happen to the only zinc supplier in the area. Is she now? She is. I reckon if you gave her a hand out of the situation, she'd give you a hand in return. Wait, do you know... How do you know that I need zinc? Eh. Meow. <laughs> yeah. What's in here now? It smells like eggnog. I'll have some of that. Eggnog. My, my items are kind of building up. This looks to be the Gilded Era? Home, sweet home, sort of. I mean, we're only five to six hundred miles off. We're practically there. Oh, Father, I hope that one day we can afford a real house. This one is sticky and doesn't keep the damp out. At least we have the rats to keep us warm. We'll need those rats, son. I have bad news. The wall has caved in. I've tossed some behind the house in the hopes that it attracts more rats to cuddle. I'm going to take that, but only in the hopes of using it to make these people's lives better. Sure. What? I'm serious. Look, buddy, we've all, do all told ourselves lies to justify stealing somebody's gingerbread wall. But you're not better than me. You'll be in your pants at 3 a.m. dunking that kid's house into some warm milk. I'm going to make their lives better. You'll sob as you spill milk on your naked chest. You disgust me. Uh... 
Gingerbread house extension. Wow. That has too many notes. Let's see what we can do to fix that. I have copper. I just need a salty liquid and zinc and I can make a battery for this torch. That sounds more like your Christmas jingles I know. Cool. I have a bucket shaped hole in my coat that needs filling. Oh, you actually do. Cool. Um. Oh. You received item spirit containment unit. Cool. Uh, here you go. Use log, which represented his faith. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Uh, music? Music, the universal language which brings us together to express ourselves and celebrate what makes us the same and what makes us different. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Um, toys? This toy symbolizing friends and family and play. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Eggnog, right? Eggnog, which represents bad choices. Sort of. Gathering for drinks, which often lead to bad choices. The dark side detective, me, wants to clarify that people can meet for coffee, hot chocolate, tea, water, sodas, and a whole range of non-alcoholic drinks, too. I think I need to add more seasonal elements to the fire. Bah, humbug. Okay, not the... Oh, gingerbread. This piece of gingerbread house, which represents two things. Food, which is a staple of gatherings. It also represents that gingerbread is a poor building material. Something is happening. It worked. Not again. Look, it's Christmas. I don't work on Christmas. That explains a lot, actually. Get in here. I need you to come somewhere with me. I have a job for you. Oh, please. I already said I don't work today. Sorry, I really need this. Where, where did you get that SCU from? Have you even done an immaterial handling course? Help. Trapped. Oh, look at the little face. Dooley must be freezing without a jacket. Another sugar detective? Oh, Dooley, I shan't. I'm developing a bit of a pudgy tum-tum. I wish I was trim and powerful like you. I keep telling you, Detective, it's simple maths. Calories in, and then you multiply those calories by the square root of something else and take away whatever you burn at the gym. A little tip. I get Emily to burn stuff for me at the gym. It's more efficient. Anyway, then you do more numbers and stuff and you'll be buff like me. Easy. Ooh. Okie dokie then. Oh. Uh, not to nitpick, but it's hard for me to see how we made things better here. Greetings, travelers. You can see us. Well, these folks aren't planning to burn me because I sleep. Yeah. That atop of all my festive celebrations, they have never had the festive spirit were too much for them so they built this pyre merrily i might add from the forest that's always been over there and here we are please feed my cat and house and not one to the other i think these people would do with a little help in appreciating the seasonal cheer what up witches i'm here to slather you in festive cheer I will say, though, before we light the pyre, that I did like the smell of her nog. I and her singing was most careless. 
If we're being franketh, it did lift up an otherwise dreary timeth of yeareth. Yes, mayhaps we were too hasty in our fervor to burn this woman. Let us instead release her and drink deeply of her noggeth egg. Aye, we shall danceth and singeth and argue about politics instead. Okie dokie. Thank you, traveler. How can I repay your help here this day? Do you know where I can find zinc? Nope, sorry. Oh. Uh, but find me again and I'll have what you need. Oh? Oh? I wish this would hurry up. I worry about uh, what Dooley is doing to keep himself entertained through all this. Oh my god, Dooley. See, I'm not here alone. It's not scary. Dolly, what the hell are you doing? Oh, this is cheerier. Welcome, I've been expecting you. How are you still alive? It's easier than you might think. The secret is not dying. I have your zinc, which for anyone wondering why I'd have some, is a cofactor for enzymes involved in alcoholic production and also plays a role in extracellular activity. That's very specific. Did you look it up on Wikipedia? <laughs> I don't know what that means. This is a hundred years before computers. Oh, well, thanks. I have copper and zinc. Now I just need a salty liquid and I can make a torch battery. What will we do with all this time off my employer has given me? Oh, I know. Could you, me, and my normal amount of bones go sledding? Sledging? Slaying, maybe? I'm poor and don't know those kinds of words. However it's spelled, let's go. Oh, look at this little hat. It still has a knife, but it's less menacing now that it has a fun hat on. I didn't see him before, if he was there. See, they live in a real house now. Exactly. You and they are welcome. You didn't help. My talent kept you on the straight and narrow. If it wasn't for me, you'd have been back here licking their chimney in a sugar rage. Okay. So those are, are closed. What if I put this there? I'll put this infested wood here and hopefully the termites will make me a platform that I can use to trick the sun's light from in the future. Yay. I'll take some life-giving broth. All this time jumping is hard on the body. I have everything I need. I just pop these two metals into the salt water. Hook them up with the cables I happen to already have on me to keep the puzzle from dragging on. And hey, presto, we have a makeshift battery. Cool. We got a makeshift battery. I hope he's... You know what? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Um... It's a bit clunky, but we have light. St stay away from the light. Ah, a bit of death humor for you there. Please don't stay away from the light. I don't want to have to hunt you down. I just have to climb up here and get the angle right. Yes, this should do it. It has happened, Yule. Oh, I do hope you can see this from wherever us cave people believe the dead go. I can see it, Bongo. I can. It brings ghost tears to my ghost eyes. Come, creepy robed man. You can take me to the afterlife now. This life has given me all I seek from it. We can go through now. Finally, I was starting to sober up there for a moment. We made it to the back office. It looks like a bomb hit this place. Oppenheimer was here with his nuclear... Daiquiris earlier. Honestly, if I wasn't dead, they'd have killed me. 
They're not sleeping off the party, you know. They'd passed out from overexposure to admin uh, long before things kicked off. They slept through all that ruckus. Enough paperwork and you could sleep through the literal end of the world. Now to open this and see if I can update the number. Looks like each number is made up from three segments. I just need to find the right combination to move the display onto the number 324. Oh, 324. That should be the display updated. The display has moved forward. The next ghost in line can be processed. After the holidays, you mean? After the... Oh. It looks like things largely worked out for old Chuck. Unless you won't tell anyone, will you, about my screw-up? Maybe we can strike a deal? I hope you don't mind the extra mouths to feed. They had nowhere else to go. When you brought all these guests home, I wasn't sure we'd have enough food for everyone. Thankfully, this house was built on an old... There are enough turkey ghosts to go around. Detective, I can't thank you enough. It's not exactly what you wanted, but it's something. I cannot live forever, Detective. Been uh, able to come back for the holidays to see McGarry and it means the world to me. Anyway, I best go spend what time I have with him for the office opens and I moved on. Have a good one. There's one thing I don't understand. Why didn't you just get the missing ticket from Gary and just give it to somebody who wanted to go home? You know, instead of going on this elaborate journey to fix a not broken machine. Guys, you're not answering. Eat up, everyone. <laughs> Yay! Completed case seven. Ghost of Christmas past. Yay! So we finished case seven. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I hope that you enjoyed Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. As always, if you did, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribe, it always makes my day and it really helps out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Um, I also have a Discord in case anybody wants to come hang out. It's pretty quiet and chill, but I do try and post there whenever I have anything going on. And yeah, I will catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye.